everybody welcome to my channel I hope you're doing well thanks so much for joining me today today I have a couple project shares for you using the um, it is called the exquisite envelope insert die set from Atonic Studios it is contains 13 dies um, as you can see here it makes these um, envelopes and you can either use them as a standalone element which I'll show you or you can, because they have the ability to have the binding, you can insert them into journals and memory books and things of that nature. So here are the dies. Let's do it this way. So you have the main outer die here that creates your envelope. You can see that. But there's this extra wide bit so that when this flap folds over, you have the option of um, binding that. And it comes with a couple binding mechanisms here that you can thread or you can just punch your own holes. Um, it also comes with, for the middle part, which also this can be used on cards, it comes with this stitched, um, yeah, stitch, just a regular stitch, sort of, what is this measure? Uh, four, about four and a quarter by almost six and a quarter so you could definitely make a card front with that it also comes with insert piece that you could use you could also just clip away around there and use either or um, very pretty uh, it also comes with of course the mashing um, other parts of the envelope so you could use it alone you can cut into the card you can cut around it's got I won't pull every single thing out here but and then of course these all coordinate and then the envelope flap is like that, again with that stitching, and then the ornate piece. And then it comes with four like closures, which I did around here. Um, and this one, for example, is a circle, and then it has this embossed element where you can ink through it and bring that pattern out. Like a flowery, two flowery, different shapes, and then a one, two, three, four, five, six, a hexagon. So I thought I'd go ahead and show you what I made. This was the first one I made. And I don't know what happened to my string. Did I put one on? <laughs> um, I don't know. But your string would go around here. Let me grab one. Okay, so for example, you could uh, glue that down underneath here. Wrap it around. Do a figure eight. And then you would have your closure. Sort of like a coin envelope would be. Okay. Here I just tied some um, seam binding on there. I was sort of experimenting. I did three holes like to put it in an A5 planner because I thought that might be what I want to do with it. So these are not the holes that come with uh, the die set. These were just me punching an A5 um, uh, spacing there. And then I put eyelets in. But it just goes to show you it's another thing you can do. So all I did was there are these score lines here. I just flattened them there. You could fold along any of those to make a smaller binding. It, it's very versatile. And then it opens up. It's an envelope, so of course you can put um, things in there. It's very roomy. Um, and then I have some of my paper from the shop. This is the Vintage Slate uh, collection. I have that both in digital and sampler form. And then I just inked around the edges to kind of make it a little more grungy to match the card, um, craft card look. And then I inserted a brad there. Yeah, I just left this one pretty plain. I liked I liked the gray with the brown. On the back I have some of my own paper that's not yet in the shop but coming. Uh, it's a metal um, paper, metal looking paper. That's very cool. So that's that one. So primarily I wanted to show this Alice one, the Echo Park um, Alice in Wonderland paper for this on just some cream cardstock and I did put a Maggie Holmes sweet story because it coordinated so well with this blue in particular this sort of bright blue and then the pink and I had happened to have it lying there and I thought oh that goes nicely so I put that on there this I used the flowery petal bit there and then some twine so let me show you what I did on the inside so if you notice before I open that this one is a lot um, narrower so I cut two of these Okay, so I cut two of the die, and then I cut off the cream cardstock, I cut two of these, and then I just cut off here. And then when I had those two pieces, I went ahead and, and layered them, and uh, I also cut off the tabs. So I cut off these two and this bit. And then once I had this and this 
like that. I have two of those. I just layered them opposite of each other, as you can see, to make the ornate side on each there. And then you have a sort of a folio. So again, versatility. So what do I have on the inside? Okay, so I have more of that Echo Park paper, more of that Sweet Story paper. So let me show you here. I've got, um, this is from an Apple Blossom stamp set that I don't think is made anymore um, from Craft Stash and it comes with these little cards because uh, we were just watching Alice in Wonderland and um, it always inspires me to make stuff because it's one of my favorite stories. Uh, and we have the cards there stamped. I left them just black on cream and then I stamped onto the extra. I've got, uh, this is an Elizabeth Craft Designs um, die from the Planner Essentials line. It has this sort of ripped and torn look about it, so I did that on the stripe. And then this is a Maggie Holmes um, die that I went ahead and cut this cameo out, sort of to be our Alice here. I know she's normally not in a bun, but <laughs> I wanted a little girl sort of alice -y look there. So I made a pocket. I took the flap part of the die and then I just cut that part off on this paper, folded the insides in, and made a pocket. So you can see there, and it's got the stitched. So what did I put inside? Well, let's take it out. We'll get to this one in a second. I put some die cuts in here so people can use some things. Uh, I had a stamp of a clock since I'm always thinking of the white rabbit. You know, I'm late, I'm late for a very important date. Um, and so I have a, a stamped image here someone can use that I'm throwing. Uh, time to be happy. I have a couple teacups with Alice, right? So, uh, very cute. I have, this is a studio light die that is super cute. I don't know if you can see that. It's like a ticket with these little holes in here. And then I took some of that, I kind of centered it over one of the Alice's. And then this has like butterflies and things on there. Another studio light die. Look at that. All those steampunky things, right? When we think of the Mad Hatter and his whole sort of <laughs> look that he's got going. Uh, I always think of steampunk things and these cogs and things is, is a very fun die. So I thought this is a nice intricate one someone can use in their crafting. And I made it black so that it would match whatever or they can use inks on it and spray inks on it and change the color if they need to. And then the last element is this little folio which is also from Studio Light. The, um, it's like a little fold out trifold. And I hung a key, which is actually a die that I've gotten in a Paper Craft Society box, the Bee Crafty mixed media one, since there, you know, she uses the keys to get in the doors at the beginning, um, and then she's too big and she's too small, so uh, I thought that would be a cute addition, so I hung that on some seam binding. And then when you open this, it has some fun papers. So on the left and the right, um, I have more of the Echo Park Alice paper. That's the one with obviously the Alice's. And this is one with the um, cakes and things, you know, like you would say, eat me, and all different sort of little cakes and little bottles for the drink me. This is a paper I have made that will be coming to the shop with a hand-drawn Mad Hatter hat that I have done. Um, and so I wanted clocks and things to go with that, so I used that because I thought it went nicely with that and also with the clock that I included and went with the theme. And then this is a tiny little ruler die. <laughs> it's very, very cute. I'm trying to get it close to the, I'm not getting it there. There we go. Uh, a little part of a ruler that is uh, very cute. And so since the Mad Hatter obviously uh, hats people, you would always have a uh, flexible ruler on you. Um, and then that could be used, embellished even further, um, and used as a card. You, it will stand up on its own like that, uh, or someone can fold it up and use it in a junk journal, but I thought that was fun to include in there. We always like little fold out things, at least I do. This die is very versatile, um, hopefully you enjoyed seeing that. It all just tucks right in there and then you close it up and then tie it off. It's all very fun. It's a fun little packet to give to someone. This packet itself could be put into a journal. So lots of potential with this. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button.